Hello peeps and welcome back to the best career mode channel here on YouTube. Today back on FIFA 23 with Theodore Dragomir. Ladies and gentlemen, we are kicking off against Manchester City at the Emirates Stadium. First v second, just like in real life tomorrow. Of course, tomorrow in real life, uh, for me, I'm recording this on Tuesday. For you, Arsenal v Manchester City. It would have already happened, don't tell me. You guys in the future, don't tell me what happened. Hopefully, fingers crossed, Arsenal beat Man City at the Etihad. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this and Arsenal lost, I'm crying. Somewhere. Right now. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> it's a similar situation, but flipped. Instead of at the uh, we're at the Emirates. And instead of Arsenal being on top right now, Manchester City are top. We have nine wins, three draws, and one loss. They only have the one draw to the name. So they're four points above us. If we win here, we are only one point Behind them, Sheffield United are currently third. Leicester fourth. Wolves, which is very impressive on their behalf. We have a very busy month of December, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of matches involved before going on to the January transfer window. So, fingers crossed we can pick up some big points before. And, ladies and gentlemen, leave a thumbs up on the video if you do enjoy. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get into it. Or oh, should also mention, we are using a new gameplay mod today. We're getting new ones, like, every single week now. I know, every single episode. But I like testing out different gameplay mods to find my favorite. And today, we have a new one, ladies and gentlemen. And it's going to be fun. Let me get the name of it, just to... I know people are going to ask. HS97 gameplay mod. We also have a, a new GFX mod. I don't really know too much of what that does is like graphical so hopefully it'll look a bit better here and there and stuff and yeah we're adding a few mods which i love ladies and gentlemen dragon of course the captain and the striker leave a thumbs up on the video if you haven't already <clears throat> leave a thumbs up on the video if you do enjoy ladies and gentlemen and let's kick off sleeves rolled up today's an rk day and today's video is brought to you by the rpw universe website regents pro wrestling is the number one wrestling show in sports entertainment and today you can sign your own contract in RPW. Let's take a look. These buttons in the middle are clickable, so you can click them and it takes you to those show's rosters. World Wars on Toxic Thursday and Friday Night Fury. Let me know what brand is the best. It has the show intro right there as well. You can click on Champions, take you to the Champions. If you click on the Championship belt, ladies and gentlemen, it then takes you to the spreadsheet for the entire history of that Championship. It's absolutely insane. We have the next premium live event coming up. We have the spreadsheet information. We have all of the awards from season one and then we have my favorite thing ladies and gentlemen the rpw universe magazine if you click on the magazine right here go full screen you literally have a full recap of the last week in rpw you can scroll across and read through the week of action uh, of rpw that has just recently happened ladies and gentlemen it's going to be released every single week the entire week recap of rpw is going to be right here in magazine form there are also some superstar magazines so if you want to read about the women's revolution in rpw you can read all about that right here as well we then also have our merch of course if you want to rep the number one wrestling show in sports entertainment in real life feel free to go ahead wear it loud and proud and then we have a little about section about how you can join if you become a youtube member today ladies and gentlemen you get your own contract signed in regents pro wrestling if you need any more information about it join our discord also link in the description you can talk to some of our superstars face to face and they can tell you about the praises and amazingness of joining rpw hopefully we'll see you in the ring rk signing out keep those sleeves rolled up for arsenal fabio vieira former arsenal player is at manchester city in the midfield returning to the emirates against the gun it's going to be interesting they have akimi they have haaland they have a very strong team and it's going to be a challenge long ball by hakimi already Intercepted by Cole. And here we go. Then Emirates is looking beautiful. And Erdegaard. Williams. Up to Harvey Barnes. One more for Theodore Dragomir on his left foot, ladies and gentlemen. Theodore Dragomir, the captain, the skipper. He's going for 40 this season. And he's just got the first of the episode. And he's looking damn good, ladies and gentlemen. People said Dragomir shouldn't be striker. People don't know what they're talking about. Lovely passing. Harvey Barnes, one more left footed shot across. Cole has got five star weak foot now. And what a finish from the skipper. That's not an easy shot right there. Keeper falls down, not knowing which direction we're going. And Pep Guardiola is fuming. Hopefully, Arsenal have this start in real life too. 10 goals in 12 for the skipper at the Emirates. <laughs> what a start to the episode. Come and finger. Getting pressured by TD, but he gets out of it. Tonali up to the right-hand side. I'll tell you what, for, for the first match, we're going to use this HS97 mod. And to get a side-by-side -side comparison, I also have the Anth 
gameplay mod, which we've used before, but it's been updated 3.1 now. So next match, we'll use that gameplay mod. Let me know in the comments down below which one do you prefer, match one or match two? And we can fully assess which is our favorite gameplay mod to play and to watch, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's the only way to do it, because each episode I might forget what I like about it. Oh my god, what a ball up. But another guard has dragged me across. Oh, too weak on the pass. Too weak on the pass. Uh, but at least if they're side by side, you guys can go back and rewatch match one, match two, compare them. See what the CPU are doing. Like the long balls right now are looking good. The dribbling is looking good. And then see which one you prefer, ladies and gentlemen. I land down two Philly Fodes. Good tackle. Owen Cole. Ball up. Oh, bad pass. TD is going to make the tackle, though. And surely not go on the run. Though he's going to cut back to Sambi. Over to Williams. Nice ball up to Theodore Dragomir. Who loses out. Well, nice header back up from Ruben Neves. Dragomir lays off Harvey Barnes. Back to Theodore Dragomir on his left foot again, ladies and gentlemen. This man cannot be stopped. Two left-footed finishes. Again, he's five-star week for now. He can score in the air. He can score on his right. He can score on his left. He's getting 40 Premier League goals this season. That was his goal. And he is well on his way to succeeding. What a fin See, those are the finishes. He never used to actually score. Oh, fingertip save. Oh, fingertips touched by the keeper, but not enough. Those are the finishes he never used to get on target, ladies and gentlemen. And now he's scoring them. We've had no possession, but that's because they've been kicking off every two seconds. Because we're scoring up to the left. Harvey Barnes, no. Into the middle. Sambi, nice ball up. Theodore Dragomir looking for his hat-trick. Left foot again. Oh, good save, oh man. That time. Dragomir, two goals on his left already. Went for another. In the air, maybe. Oh, bad head at that time. Oh, nice ball through. Lovely through ball. Erling Haaland. Trying to cut inside. Phil Foden. Kamavinga. Foden. Dispossessed. Good defense. From the Gunners again. Lovely ball. You don't even have to call for it. They know when to pass. And Theodore Dragomir in a foot race. Shows some speed. Who's in the box? I see Harvey Barnes in there. Goes into Sambi Lakonga. Oh, his shot is blocked. Neves. Can't hold on to it. And they play out. For Foden on the left-hand side. Blonde Foden. The brink of half time now. 2 0 lead so far. Phil Foden, nice dribbling. But he's going nowhere with it. Half time. 2 0. A Dragon May Brace. This is the start to the episode we wanted, though. A 2 0 lead at the Emirates against Manchester City. Again, if we win, we're only one point off them in the fight for the Premier League. Of course, we are focusing mainly on the Champions League win this year. The Premier League, we just want 40 goals. It would be nice to win the league, though, of course, for Theodore Dragon May. But the main goal is the Champions League and 40 Prem goals. Nice passing. Sambi over to the left. Walker Peters. Nice ball in. Theodore Dragomir with another bicey. He scored one a couple episodes ago. Last episode, maybe. That one on target. Out of guard corner. Dragomir in there again. Forcing another big save from the keeper. Ruben Diaz on him. Dragomir twisting turn and that one into Ruben Neves. Back out though. Dragomir chest it down. Did he handball? Oh, he handballed it. Are you serious? Gnarly. Nice switch to the play. The long balls are on point right now. The long pass is on point. Phil Foden, do they cross it in though? Is the question. Good tackle by Cole. Half an hour left to play. Goes in, is one. Pickford holds on and Dragomir is on the left hand side. If you can find, they do indeed. Dragomir, nice touchdown. On a bit of a run. Lovely cut back. Missing out on the slide tackle. Here's Martin Odegaard now. Up to Sambi. One more for Theodore. Dragomir on his right foot. Oh man, diving all across the. Width of the box to make that safe. Another corner. Dragomir in front of the defense again. Goal kick given. So many chances. Nice through ball. Alfonso Davies, one of the faster players. Ball in to Hala Niang. Great header. Long shot. I like to see long shots, you know. Quick throw by Pickford. Dragomir tries to get out to the left. Ah, couldn't make the pass. Odegaard. Neves. Harvey Barnes. Dragomir in the middle. He goes out to the left. To Dalo. Oh, Dragomir, terrible pass, terrible pass, you idiot. It's always Dragomir losing the ball, isn't it? It's a nice ball in. Haaland way too far out to make that header on target. 13 left to play, still 2 0 up, and we are looking comfortable. Neves, first time. Chip through ball, Dragomir, nice header down to Odegaard, who tried to head back into him straight away. Weren't ready for that. That's not a foul on Dragomir, is it? They called a handball first. They called a handball first. Oh, they've sent him off. 
They called a handball first, ladies and gentlemen. So that shouldn't be a foul. Sheffield United beat Liverpool at Anfield. Oh, two goals and a red card. That's outrageous. Well, he's suspended for the Brighton game, ladies and gentlemen. Noel is the striker. 3-1. Okay. We take it. We take it. Right, so uh, by the time you're watching this, I've already released, I'm pretty sure, an updated version, title update 11, on how to install mods. So I'm not going to go fully into depth here, but as you can see down here, the HS97 gameplay mod, that's what we just used. So we're going to untick that one and tick Ants GP and the gameplay version 3.1. We also have AI motion in there as well. Um, so these are all the mods we're using. Click launch, relaunch the game with the new mod. Again, if you are interested in modding your own FIFA 23, ladies and gentlemen, there is an updated uh, video that should be up by the time this video comes out on the channel. So go give that a look. It's a step-by-step -step guide on where to download, how to download, and how to set up all of your mods. And just like that, we are back with a new gameplay mod back at the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal take on Wolves. And again, the stadiums look so damn good with mods they look so damn good ladies and gentlemen again let me know what you prefer the man city gameplay mode or this one in the comments just say man city gameplay mode or wolves and we can continue to use that one oh dragon me almost got to a hectic start there pablo tor tora i don't know how you say his name up on the right side the nice dribbling all in ehataran into the box moya we're pressing to neto i like his long hair in the man bun another man sorry but the head bunny Send me with that footwork. Went for goal. Pickford, good save though. Gonna go down to Owen Cole, Williams, Dragomir. It's always Dragomir giving the ball away. He needs to be on the end of the passes. He can't be a playmaker because his passing is dead. To Odegaard, Dragomir now. Oh, sees Harvey Barnes ref. No. Okay, I was gonna say, sure, it's a foul. Williams, oh, lovely ball up. Theodore Dragomir again. He needs to know that he can't just run past it. He should have like stopped, cut, and waited then. He needs to know he can't just run past anyone anymore like he once could. Here is again through ball up to Williams. Dragman now in the box. If he needs a nice Rabona into a Bicey. Oh my god, Rossi with the save. Dragman in the box. Fighting for it on target, but a good save. A comfortable save for Rossi there. I like short sleeves on the goalkeeper. Even when it's raining, his brave choice. Pressing into the hefty touch is Theodore Dragman as Erdegaard. Up there with him. Theodore Dragomir, tough angle. Goes near post, but a comfortable save. Rossi looking good. One minute so far. Not much happening in this one. Not really been able to break through. We've had a few chances here and there, but Rossi's been comfortable overall in goal for Wolves. That's for uh, Wolves attacking. Not really had too much either. Oh, referee. Oh, referee. If Dragomir does that, he's sent off. Ladies and gentlemen, I love that new kit. If Dragomir does that, he's sent off. If I do not see a red card. Yeah, okay. Red card, good. At least they're consistent. At least they're consistent. And our Dragomir, an insult to injury. Could you imagine if that flew top corner, ladies and gentlemen? Dragomir fighting to win the ball back. And does. Here's Sambi Lokonga. Dragomir into Williams. Has only got up there with him. Tries to go back to Dragomir. That's pressing play. We've been comfortable winning the ball back. Again, we just haven't been taking our chances. Dragomir on target again. Dragomir still in the box. Ruben Neves. Sambi. Oh, terrible ball in. Oh, don't let Wolves take it now, Neto. Oh, we could have went one more. Went for a long shot. First shot on target for Wolves, I think. Strong hand from Pickford, though. Really is a battle of the goalkeepers right now. Now the goalkeeper wants to give up their clean sheet. And they're both holding us off. There goes Dragomir, running down this left-hand side, trying to switch it. Oh my god, that might be the worst pass I've ever seen. Ruben Neves, headed down. Dragomir, no handball. Thought it was going to handball it there. I'll be Barnes. Oh. Drag, if you want 40 in the season, lad, you need to be scoring pretty much every game. So many chances, just going wide. There is Dragomir again, down to the left-hand side. Pushing Harvey Barnes. Out on the wing. Ball goes in, Dragomir, tight angle on his left foot. Another good save. Oh, no. Re is that a penalty? Oh, they've given a penalty. Oh, that's unfortunate for Wolves. It's the captain as well. Oh, and they've taken Dragomir off. Harvey Barnes score. 1-1. One, one. Oh, my God. Are you? They missed them. They didn't have a penalty. A couple bench, appearance, uh, couple bench appearances to end off the episode, ladies and gentlemen. A couple bench appearances never hurt anyone. Southampton. 
against Arsenal. I think uh, Dragman's coming at Cam here. Playing that number 10 role behind Noel, the striker, which I like. Not seen Dragman play Cam too much. He could definitely do it, though. And it could definitely be running in behind as a second striker, too. Nice ball up. Here is Dido Dragomir again. Cutting back. Needs to lay it off. And just loses out. Uh, this game, so the first game was HS97. Second game was Anth gameplay mod. This one, I, I, I just enabled all of my gameplay mods. So I don't know which one it actually is. I don't know if they're all enabled, if it's part of all of them, if the bottom ones just take part. I don't know. We have about five or six gameplay mods all active right now. So if you prefer this match over the first two, let me know. And I'll just keep all of them on. Oh, he fumbled the shot. I'll just keep all of them on and we won't know which one exactly we're using. Oh, that was so annoying. I like the white Southampton uh, kit. I like how St. James's Park is looking as well. Very nice. Lovely passing play. Noel couldn't keep it going. Oh, pass intercepted. Wins it back. Drag him in. Oh, the first time passing. Southampton give me PTSD now. From real life, I just realized we're playing Southampton. And of course, everyone that watches Premier League football knows what happened between Arsenal and Southampton in real life. And I don't want to talk about it, so don't ask. Let's just be thankful that Theo Walcott has probably retired at this point. Dragomir running through. Tilleman sees him bursting through the defense. They don't drag him here. See, those are the ones again. Sometimes he's so clinical. He's definitely not taking corners. Sometimes he's so clinical and sometimes he'll bottle a one-on-one -on -one chance like that. Oh, my God. And then he'll go leap like a salmon. But what a save from the keeper. I told you he's strong in the air, ladies and gentlemen. Is Theodore Dragomir another save by the keeper? Oh, my God. Back out to Ruben Neves. Back into Dragomir. Keeper saves it. Rajkovic. Rajkovic. Oh, I meant I, I was holding R2 and pressed X. Oh, that's annoying. Dragomir doesn't want to be taking corners. Don't know why he's on them. 15 to play. Still 1-0. But again, Dragomir wants 40 goals. He needs to be scoring, ladies and gentlemen. Yuri Tielemans, Ruben Neves, Dalot, Dragomir. Oh, I didn't mean to chip that, I'll be honest with you. Tomorrow, easy header. Back down to Theodore Dragomir. Keeps it up in the air, over the defence, left footed shot. Goes over, ladies and gentlemen. Again, he's getting charts. He's kind of just swinging his foot here right now, though. With no, uh, no shots actually going on target. That's layoff. To Harvey Barnes, lovely, 1-2. And again for Noel. Into the box now is Yuri Tillemans. On the right side, Walker Peters. What was that? Noel lays it off for Theodore Dragomir, who's break, uh, breaking through. He has Noel up there with him. Dragomir, oh, he's messed about with it a bit. He's really messed about, got past the defender on his left foot. Oh, he's gone wide again. He done so well. To get around the uh, around the defender. Oh, my God. He really can't get a shot on target right now. Nice chip through ball. Pickford comes out. Oh, my God, Pickford. Don't scare me. Interception. Drag him in, push it up. Harvey Barnes. Last chance for a goal. No. One more for Theodore Dragomir. Who's through on his left foot. Oh, on target. This keeper is incredible. Last chance comes. From the corner, it's a bit short. It's on target. It's another save. <laughs> this guy's made the most saves in this match in his whole career. Come here down this left hand side. Maybe he has to play a more of a creating role. No. Into the defender. No, no, no. Full time worse. So we'll take the 1 0 win. Annoying Dragomir hasn't scored in the past couple of games now, but we take the 1 0 win. We go on. Let's play one or two more off the bench, I think. Oh, we're not selected against... I mean, it's the EFL Cup, but we missed a penalty shootout and they lost, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I think next is Chelsea away. So it'll be a fun time to end, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed before January. Chelsea away. Are we going to get the start late on here to end off the episode? No, we're off the bench. Still second, one point behind City. Off the bench against Chelsea. Nil-nil. We're playing right mid. They have a man down with half an hour to play. Nice stadium. Stamford Bridge, very nice stadium. Another corner. They do have a man down. But there is a sea of blue. In the goal, we're attacking. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, his first touch of the ball. Theodore Dragomir with the finish. 
He can score headers in front of that sea of blue against two, three Chelsea defenders. What a bullet header into the corner. What a finish. Theodore Dragomir off the mark at Stamford Bridge playing right mid as well. What a header. Ben White as well. Ben White might have been one of the ones he jumped over there. Former Arsenal defender. Good to see Dragomir back out on the wing. He can still play on the wing, of course. Lovely ball up to Camelo, who lines up a power shot of all things. He had so much space to go into. It is Ben White, number five. I think Ben White was the one who was defending before, and Ben White can't guard him. Oh, my God. Ben White cannot guard him. Go celebrate in front of the Chelsea fans. Go, do, well, um, okay, there's some Arsenal fans. I was going to say, hmm, he's, he's hugging the Chelsea He's, they're all Chelsea fans. He's hugging the Chelsea fans. What a bullet header, though. Two-headed goals for Theodore Dragomir. We ignore the celebration. <laughs> ben White cannot guard Theodore Dragomir. Two goals from corners. Kai Havertz running through. It was through on goal then, but cut back. Cole up to Theodore Dragomir. Tried to get one more. He lost out. Martin Odegaard. Still Odegaard. Camelo. Oh. Kieran Tierney. Bro, they have all of our defenders. we got Tierney and Ben White at Chelsea. Why would they leave Arsenal to go Chelsea at a time like this? We've been winning Prems left and right. We're winning the Champions this year. Why would they leave? To be fair, they probably left a while ago, but still. Oh, Camelo, what a ball. Oh, let's show them why they shouldn't have left. Theodore, we've been talking about Dragomir not having hat-tricks. In his career, he barely ever gets them, ladies and gentlemen. Theodore Dragomir, hat-trick hero at Stamford Bridge, off the bench. What a hero. I like these gameplay mods all packed in together. I really, really do. Opened up his body. Cool, calm and collected. Maybe Dragomir should have stayed on the wing. He come on as a right midfielder and he scored three. That's his first hat-trick in... I can't remember the last time. I don't think he's ever got a hat-trick. He may have, and I forgot, but... I can't think of a, a Dragomir hat-trick day, so it's nice to see him get one here. Kai Havertz, long shot, trying to get Chelsea back in. I love the Hotel Trivago. Ad boards. Picky! Nice throw out. Dragomir takes it in his stride. Up on this left-hand side. Oh, bad boss. Oh, left, left, left. Oh, what a ball, Ruben Neves. Ben White is trying to guard Theodore Dragomir. Oh, he's passed it back to Erdogan for some reason. Into Camelo. One more for Dragomir. Well, it's not how we wanted to get the ball in the end, but he gets it. On target, good save. Surely, hey, ben White can't guard him in the air. Ben White can't guard him. There are two more uh, players there. Mudrik off the bench. Really glad Arsenal did not get him in real life. Trossard over. Uh, Mudrik is terrible. He stinks. Double 07. Fatou, nice ball in. Dragomir. Oh my god, Costa, another great save. Weird dive though. Kai Havertz in behind. Will he go for goal on that left foot? Oh my god, I was going to say Pickford, great save. What a weird animation. I want to see that again. Kai Havertz, the captain, run through. Went for goal. Pickford went down. Oh, he like saved it. That's an animation I've never seen before. He saved it like onto the ground. It bounced up. No clean sheet. 3-1. Hey, we scored three goals. We don't care as long as we get the three points. Run. Oh, my God. Who says he can't sprint anymore? Theodore Dragomir. One on one. Tried to go with a power shot. It was a tough angle. Oh, up to the left-hand side. Lovely ball. Dalot. In front. Dragomir was chasing it. Owen Cole. Little dink in from him. Oh, my God. Cole again. Thinking, oh, terrible crossover. Fatou scores <laughs> with a bicycle kick to make it four off the bench. Little bicey. Never hurt anyone. Fatou with the interception. Here goes Dragomir. Bursting it through. Oh. <laughs> they are running absolutely rampant. It's five at Stamford Bridge for the Gunners. End of the episode. This has been Pulisic. Nice ball in diving header. Oh my, his goals galore, ladies and gentlemen. It's 5-2. A nice diving header. Lovely cross, and I'm glad they actually cross. It is goal galore. Gil. Dragomir with a bit of skill. He's in behind again. Oh, I went for a power shot, and I forgot the manual. Whoops. <laughs> Tillman spins it back, though. 
Ruben Neves through. Lovely ball. Theodore Dragomir. Oh, how do you miss from there? He wanted a header instead. He wanted a hat-trick of headers. Oh, my God. Dragomir can't believe it. He really can't. I mean, this is helping him get to his 40 goals. A hat-trick of headers. Jesus Christ, it is 6-2. And if he had next-gen hair, we'd use that for a thumbnail, but it looks terrible. 6-2. Full-time result. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, please do leave a thumbs up on the video. Leave a thumbs up just for Dragomir scoring six goals. Oh, he didn't score six goals, but Arsenal scoring six goals at Stamford Bridge. 16 and 16, ladies and gentlemen. What a big three points. This was for Arsenal. What a big performance for Dragomir. Just goes to show you can still play on the wing if needed. Ladies and gentlemen, leave a thumbs up on the video. I mean, how to of you Arsenal knows Green Skin? Surely not. We're not going to get another one. No, it's going to get us last kick. Cheese. Um... Hopefully you've enjoyed. This series has gone amazing. Let me know what gameplay mode you prefer. And we'll catch you in the next one. Much of us always take care and peace. I never wanna burn down.